Well, I'm pretty silly. <laughs> I went and I picked up my trailer. It's a Rolte Conestoga. I'll show you it. Uh, it's dark outside already, and there's a story behind that. We're just starting our day, <laughs> starting our trip here. I went and got it all uh, ready to go. You know, I was gonna start my vlog and be like, hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, good day, everybody. Couldn't find my camera. Couldn't find it, searched the whole truck. All of a sudden, I'm like, I wonder if I left it in the shop. So on my way down, I swung by my shop, which luckily it's not too far out of the way. It's just a little, little, uh, little sidestep. Came to the shop here and no kidding, you guys were sitting on the couch. You guys are supposed to be with me. You can't just sit on the couch the whole trip. How am I gonna vlog if you're sitting on the couch in my shop? So we're starting the day now, we're hooked up. Uh, everything's tied down, everything's ready to go. Just gotta jump in the truck and go now. We're cleared for the border. Uh, we're gonna be going down uh, Interstate 90, 29 to Interstate 94. From Interstate 94, we'll start headed east all the way down through Minnesota, through Wisconsin, dipping into Illinois, and then we're gonna go straight down 39 to the 80, take the 80 across, I believe it's at Rochelle, Illinois. Take that across and then start our journey east towards, I haven't told you yet, have I? <laughs> I just realized that. Maybe I should wait. No, you deserve to know. You should know where we're going. We have two drops. Our first drop is in Cranford, New Jersey. Our second drop is in uh, Haupua, New York. I don't think that's how you pronounce it. We got two drops, one in New Jersey, one in New York State. Pretty close to New York City, but not in New York City. Thank God, I wouldn't want to go in there. Kudos to those of you who do drive trucks into the city of New York, that's crazy. That's where we're headed, so let's, let's get out there. Let's get to it. We made it to Fargo, and it's about 11 o'clock at night. I think that uh, I'm just going to get into Minnesota. I'll probably go to Rothstein, Minnesota, and stop at that little truck stop there that we often stop at. Call it a night. I'm trying to get to St. Cloud, Minnesota tomorrow to grab the fuel, but I'm just about quarter tanks right now. And it's about two and a half hours drive from here. So we'll see how we feel in the morning. It's pretty warm out right now. It's at about 32 Fahrenheit, zero Celsius. So I'm not too worried about sleeping with uh, uh, lower fuel in my tanks. It's not gonna gel overnight, it'll be fine. And then uh, see if I can get to St. Cloud. Fuel there is considerably cheaper again than everywhere else. For now, I'm just trying to get to my resting place in Rothsay. And I shut her down and go close my eyes. Say Minnesota. Beautiful night out. Almost a full moon. Lots of space here. There's the roll type. This is the first time you've seen it, right? Oh. The beginning of this day got all kind of messed up for me. It's a happy trailer. It's got a happy face, one on each side, and it's also got a happy face on the back. I can't show you right now because there's a big puddle back here. I'm gonna wash it tomorrow. Make it look all nice. Take real good care of it. I'm pretty tired though. I'm gonna go to bed. Oh. So it's the first night on the road, so uh, let's get you guys sitting here straight. First of all, first night on the road, so I gotta organize everything back there. Yeah, I sort of just threw it all in here. Can't believe I forgot my GoPro at the shop. <laughs> the one thing I definitely need on a trip to New York, 
Oh, I want to be able to share this journey with you guys. I have my Sony uh, a7C here that I could film with. It just it doesn't have the same. I use both cameras for different things. It doesn't have the same capabilities and flexibility of a of a GoPro like this. This I can like mount anywhere, put anywhere. It gives a good wide angle shot for a road shot. I can mount it to my head. I can mount it to the dash. This camera here is a little bit harder to mount. Yeah, see, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it gives a much wider angle shot there, right? This camera does pretty good too, because I have a, a Tamron uh, lens on here, which widens it as well. But as I stabilize it, I think I've told you before, it crops the shot quite a bit on that camera. And this one has built-in stabilization and I don't lose anything. I guess you camera guys would understand what I'm talking about. I'm really tired. So thanks for watching today, everybody. I appreciate it. I'm not sure how this vlog turned out. I had a bunch of home time footage and then we got a little bit of footage here getting going on the road. I don't know if I combined it all into one vlog or if I made two out of it. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, whatever it is, give me a thumbs up. Uh, helps me out a lot with the algorithms. If you do, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on that bell notification, especially if you're a member. If you want to become a member and get early access to my videos and as well as access to members only videos, you can hit the join button down below my video or on my main page. Uh, if you are a member, make sure that you hit that bell notification because then when you get early access videos or members only videos, you get a notification that, hey, there's a video there just for you, right? It helps everybody. And then when the videos get released in general, it helps if everybody has that on and uh, then you don't miss it. I try to release my videos about 4 p.m. Central Time every day. Uh, it seems like that's when a lot of you guys are online and it's been working well for me. I'm getting a lot of traction at that time. I think we're gonna stick with it. I'll do my best at 4 p.m. Central Time to have a video up every day. I can't promise every single day but if I'm not going to have a video up, I'll, I'll at least try to uh, leave you guys a post on my channel. Just saying, hey, don't expect anything today. We'll see you the next day or something like that. Sometimes when I'm at home, I don't film. I just enjoy my time at home and uh, we skip a day. So here and there we skip a day. And if you, if you have that bell notification clicked and turned on, you'll stay in the loop and you'll make sure you don't miss one. Because there's a lot of videos that I pump out here. It's... Uh, I've got over 3,000 on my channel right now, and we're on video, what is this, vlog 2990 or something like that, pretty close to it. 2,990, just in this series, that's since I've been keeping track. There's a bunch before that. Oh, I'm rambling because I'm tired. Oh, and I see a truck coming in here with a reefer. I wonder if he's gonna park beside me. Oh, yeah, if he does, it's okay. I can sleep with noise beside me. If I have a choice, I try to park in a quiet spot where I don't have noise beside me. That is preferable. And there he comes. What do you guys think? Is he going to pull in right beside me? I purposely parked here where there's no one beside me on either side. I wonder if he's going to... Oh, and I could see his reefer there is set to 34 Fahrenheit. And the light is on, which means that the reefer is is running. Sorry, hey, 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 focus here, camera, focus, help me out. Help me out, don't focus on the dirty window, silly. Okay, no, oh, he's going further over there. Good choice, good choice. Oh, he's turning, he's turning. Yeah, he's gonna back in over there. Nice. Score. Score one for Trucker Josh. One thing about this camera, it has excellent low light quality. Excellent. You'll notice when I'm filming on my GoPro at night because the, the lighting is much worse. And when I have this thing on, uh, oh, sorry, when I'm, when I'm using this camera, right away, as you can see, like look at the crispness of everything in here, right? Incredible. You wanna see the difference of this shot right now to my GoPro? Check this out. This is the Sony. And this is the GoPro. Well, see my camera, I'm, I'm holding this other camera right here. This is my, my Sony. Can you see it? See? It's 
got the big microphone up on top. Still no, see? <laughs> it's a big difference. But this camera is so much more agile and I can use it so much in so many more places for so many more things. And it's so much easier just to pick this up and vlog with it as opposed to picking this thing up and vlogging with this thing. But either way, I, I really enjoy putting these things together and uh, you know, I'm humbled and honored that uh, all of you have decided to tag along with me and subscribe. We hit 130,000 subscribers last week. 130,000 people at some point or other decided, yep, you know this Trucker Josh guy? I'm gonna subscribe to him. 130,000, that's the size of a city. So thank you. It's all thanks Take to you guys. The to the right. Of course, and Karen wants to be part of this. I'm not talking about you, Karen. Always making things, you know what? You know what? Just for that, I'm turning you off. Ha! Because I'm the boss. I can do that. What I was trying to say is it's thanks to you guys sharing my videos. Uh, that's the word of mouth. I don't really uh, do a lot of advertising. Sometimes they'll do a paid advertising run on Facebook just to gain a little bit more traction there, but I've been meaning to do a little bit more uh, advertising out there, uh, different kinds of advertising that I haven't done before to get new audience members in, right? But uh, your word of mouth has been what's driven this channel, and I just want to express my sincere gratitude and thankfulness to you for doing that. If you like my videos and you've made it all the way this far already, chances are some of your family members, maybe your friends, would like it as well. So that's the biggest gift and help you can do for me is just, just talk about, mention Trucker Josh in a conversation with them. Ask them if they ever watched YouTube, if they ever heard of Trucker Josh. That's, that's awesome if you do that. But I'll see you here tomorrow, okay? I've gotta go to bed, I'm rambling again. Good night everybody. Stay safe out there and drive safe.